my name is Ida. See what I did there. Hi, my name is Ida, and in this video, I will show you how to put aesthetic and cool text and graphics in your iMovie project. Usually I uh, do music related videos, but I have done some uh, iMovie tutorials and stuff in the past and I recently checked my analytics and it seemed like you guys really liked my iMovie tutorials so I decided to make more because I do really like to find creative solutions within this kind of limited space that iMovie is and to try and make my videos look as aesthetically pleasing and personal as possible. So remember to subscribe if you want to see more and uh, we will go straight into this video. We will start by adding some text in the iMovie project and then we'll kind of expand and make it more and more personal. But the first basic thing you can do is to go into titles in your iMovie project. My iMovie is in Norwegian but this is titles and uh, you can see that you have some different kinds of uh, titles to choose from and you have different positions and different fonts and I will choose this one this is what I usually do and I will put it where the background is less noisy and you can go in here and change the color so I will do some sort of pink that matches my guitar really nice and this is the most simple way to add text and I mean it works fine we have text we can read what I said but uh, in order to make it more personal we can go in and change the font and we do that here so here we have some different kinds of fonts and these are all of the kind of preset fonts in iMovie and as you can see I have added another one if you don't know how to do that you go all the way down and here it says show fonts and you can see all of the fonts that exists in your computer and uh, these will be fonts that you have uh, from before or fonts that you will have downloaded so I have already downloaded this kind of VHS uh, style font that I like so you can see that just by changing something small as this ooh, I was trying to make it smaller here <laughs> just by changing a little detail like this you get your video to be more personal but there are some limitations with this kind of uh, in iMovie text and um, <laughs> I'm trying to get like a still photo where I don't look like I'm <laughs> passing out uh, but yeah <laughs> um, when you have this kind of title you don't have that much options to kind of move it around on your screen you can of course <laughs> use the enter button and move it down a little and uh, that's basically it um, so we would like to be more free with where we place our fonts and also um, when you use these kinds of titles you will have a slight fade in and out and sometimes I want my text to just kind of pop without the fading so I will show you how to do that but the next thing that we are going to do is to download some fonts or one font in case you haven't done that before so that you can see how that will look so what we do next is that we go to the font download fonts and here we can choose from a lot of different fonts and I was thinking that we could find kind of a new font to make the aesthetic of this tutorial so I was thinking to get something like a cartoon style and uh, then I just press cartoon and I can see what comes up of course these fonts are all made by people who have uploaded them and uh, some of them can be used for free 100% free some of them can be used for free for your personal use so your birthday invitations <laughs> and stuff and uh, some of them you need to pay a little for and uh, to be safe I like to just click 100% free then I like to just be on the safe side and make sure that no one can come for me and say hey you owe me money because you use my font so I always click the 100% free and then I submit and then we can see what we like when you are choosing a font for your iMovie project I think it's nice to choose something that's kind of bold because then it's easier to see when you maybe have some different backgrounds and stuff 
So for instance, this Batman thing, that looks really cool, but I think it's hard to use it in your uh, movie project. So think about that. I think we will just go with this soup of justice and uh, we will download this and now we can use that in our video. So we just open it and uh, then we have the font here. So as you can see this font is free to use in your personal and commercial work. So that's really nice. We just double click it and then we choose install font. And now it's installed, I think. It's been a while since I did this, but let's see. We can create a new title. Let's do this one. And we will write hello. And then we will go in here and uh, we will, I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> Soup of justice. Okay, so we will see if we can find it here. Bleep, 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 bleep. I'm singing my own soundtrack. This will make it hard if I'm going to add some background music. I should probably add some background music. Yes, Soup of Justice. So we will just um, use that. So yeah, that looks kind of cool. Here we have it and we can make it as big as we want. Woohoo! <laughs> and we can change the color. It's yellow now. That's our new aesthetic. Not too bad at all. But uh, we still have the problem with the fading in and out and the position of the text. So now I am going to teach you something else. And for this, we need to go into this little program called Fire Alpaca. Of course, you can use a different kind of uh, program if you don't like Fire Alpaca, but I really like Fire Alpaca. This is free to download and it's a drawing uh, program. I actually heard of it from Marcia. I really miss her videos. Um, she used to use this for drawing and for making graphics in her videos. And uh, I read about it online and everyone seemed to think that it was really simple to use and risk-free. And I've used it for, I think, two years now and I'm really happy with it. So I would absolutely recommend it. But you can, of course, use any kind of drawing program or kind of editing <laughs> thing that you like. You can find some options online. I think you can use Canva for this as well. Um, but if you are in Fire Alpaca, then you just open a new project. And as you can see, the background is transparent. So that makes it really easy for us to just add things to our different uh, movie projects and stuff. So to add text, we press the T and then we can click where we want our text to be and then we can change our font in here as well so we're going to find a soup uh, whatever um <laughs> soup of justice yeah and we're changing it to 72 and uh let's see subscribe to my channel <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, very nice and <laughs> we can change the color uh, did I say that yellow was our new thing okay okay we can move it around it fits perfectly yay so now we have a new cool graphic that we can use and now I save that if I export it I don't get the transparent background for some reason so I choose save as and I make sure to change to PNG and I will save it as sub. Save. Okay. Okay. And now I have a thing that I can add to my project. Woohoo! As you know, perhaps in uh, iMovie you can have two layers of frame. So I like to use the kind of second layer to add graphics and text. 
and uh, I go in here where the kind of uh, square thing is and I don't like can burns I don't know why this is the first one that always comes up but I like this one that says uh, adjust or whatever um, <laughs> and then I go in here where I can uh, adjust the layers and I will choose picture in picture and now I have a picture with some text that I can move around freely yay just what I wanted super nice I will place it just over my eyes so that I am hypnotizing you <laughs> to subscribe to my channel <laughs> and uh, because I have this uh, overlay layer thing I can now also choose if I want it to fade like a lot or if I don't want it to fade at all yay so this is how I add most of my text to my videos when I make like ooh, <laughs> lyric videos and stuff of course it adds a few more steps than just pressing one of these titles but I do think it's worth it because I uh, get more freedom okay so now we can go into Fire Alpaca and we can make a new kind of project thing so because the video that i am editing is a ukulele tutorial i like to show off kind of the chord that i'm playing with different graphics and i like to be consistent in the way that i show the chords so that it fits my overall aesthetic uh, <laughs> i'll try to not say the word aesthetic too many times in this video because it will get pretentious but uh yeah i like to make my own chord graphics and this is a really nice way to get your brand kind of cohesive and uh, recognizable for people if you make all of your own graphics and you make them fit each other so what i will do when i make my ukulele chord graphic things is that I will go into the drawing in Fire Alpaca. So I will press this little pencil and then I will press this grid because now I can only paint or draw in straight lines. So I will do the white thing and um, let's see how big we can make this. We're doing this. And now I can draw the neck of a ukulele in nice and straight lines so we will have four strings of the ukulele and uh, i can make this a little bigger to do the frets so this is the top of the neck of the ukulele and then we have the first fret and the second fret and then the third fret here and uh, then i can add a new layer because now I can kind of draw where I want the fingers to be. So if I'm going to paint the D major chord, then I just, uh, that was too small and too weird. Uh, <laughs> then I can click off this uh, thing. Ooh, how do I do that? Off. Uh, so now I just paint where the fingers are going to be when I play the D major chord and ta-da! I have a graphic that will show off the chord and if I'm going to be like extra on brand I can go in here and I can add the major uh, so that we can see which chord it is and uh, to move it I need to press the T and then I can move this I will have it up here so now we have a new graphic that shows us how to do the chord so again i will just save as and i will save it as d major and i must remember to change the file into png and i save it okay okay and then i go back into my project and now i can just add this thing into my video and I change from the Ken Burns who is Ken Burns why does he get to decide how my video looks <laughs> uh. and then I go to the layer thing and I choose picture within picture and now we have the thing look how nice I'm not actually playing D major here it looks like I'm playing D minor but we don't care about that Ah, very nice yes yes and we can choose if we want this to fade in and out or if we want it to just pop and we can move it wherever yay so 
that was everything I had planned on showing you in this video. I really hope it was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions about any of this, then just ask me in the comments. Also, just leave a comment if you have any other things that you would like me to do a video on, other tutorials or whatever. And um, yeah, remember to like this video if you liked it. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. And uh, that's it. I hope you have a really nice rest of your day. I will see you very soon. Bye! You were always waiting for the hourglass Ticking in the silence of your own